What's up guys? So I got a video for you here today. Uh, part of it is uh, Kenneth Hagen giving a testimony on something that happened to him, how God set him free from the fear of fire. Now, before I get into this video, we're all set free, right? God has not given us a spirit of fear. But the Bible says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. So it's what you know and how to apply what you know that brings you the victory, okay? So sometimes you have to actually, you know, persist in getting the victory. Listen to this story and I'll, re I'll be right back so I can give an explanation about how to apply this to your life. And uh, we woke up in the night. I, I remember waking up, you see, because there I was, a little fella, about uh, between three and three and a half years old, you see, and, and my brother Dub, two years old, and I, and we were sleeping on a pallet just on the floor, you know. I mean, it's, it's hot summertime, the, the doors and windows are all open, you know. And this was before my youngest brother, Pat, was ever born. And then my sister, who was about six, seven years old, see, we were on the floor, my sister was on the bed there in the same room, and in the other room there, uh, my mother and daddy, you see, well, I woke up, you see, and, 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 and the whole scene was like, what, falling in on us. Well, you see, he in this other bedroom, he woke up, and they, they run out of the window on the other side, and he ran around this way and reached in through the window and, and, and pulled the pallet over there and, and got us, you see, and pulled us out through that one and got my sister, and, and, then, and, and then he reached in there, and, and, and of course it fell in just after he pulled us out. It wasn't a few seconds till the whole thing fell right in. He reached just inside the window and got a trunk. That's all he saved. You see? Well, as a little kid that way, the house falling on fire, you see. That, that, now you'll have that to deal with, you see, because you'll wake up in the nighttime sometime and look like the house on fire. You know, after you started preaching, you're away from the postage and you start back home and you turn the corner and start down toward the postage and suddenly you got a flash, you see the house on fire. Well, well, how do you overcome that? You don't accept it. You see, the fear of fire is there. You know, it's your, 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 your house may call a postage, may caught on fire and burned up while you was gone. You stand against that. And if you keep standing against fear and thing, after a while it'll leave you and it won't ever bother you anymore. Resist the devil and he'll free from you. Are oh, you listening to me? See, what happened is, folks are looking for instant pudding. God don't have any. I said God doesn't have any. Amen. Folks are looking for a J.C. Penny 99 cent sale. God doesn't have any. Amen. See, they want something to happen right now. Right. Ikki Moshe, and I'm delivered. That's it. I'm free forever. Never have any more trouble with the devil. It don't work like that. I said it don't work like that. What's up, guys? I, so a few things I want you to pick up from that explanation there. So you have to resist and you have to persist, persist in resisting. Okay, so two things. So if he wouldn't have stood against those thoughts about fear of fire, they wouldn't have left. And most likely they would have intensified because if, if the devil has like a little area where he's got, you know, a little foothold in you, he'll try to take more and more. And those fears can start going into other fears of different things. And so you want to stop it. When you recognize fear, fear is a spirit. And God has not given you a spirit of fear. So you have to resist it. You resist it with your words. So how would he resist? He would have to stop those thoughts by claiming God's protection, speaking that he is protected, that he, uh, the Lord is his shepherd. And in like Psalm 91, no evil shall befall him, nor shall any plague come near his dwelling. Like his household is blessed. Um, scriptures that go against tragedy so he would have to speak what the word of god is and when you speak what the word says it stops the devil now here's the thing the second part is that you have to persist because the devil is persistent he won't just the bible says uh, like an example when jesus um uh, rebuked the devil in the wilderness after his 40 days of fasting the devil came to tempt him so the jesus did right with the first temptation Right, he spoke the word, he said, it is written. And, but then Satan came back for another round and another round until he left him for a season. So renewing your mind, that's actually what he's doing. Renewing your mind is a process and you have to stay consistent at it until you got it, right? What did he say? He says, eventually it will go away, right? Because if you resist the devil, he will flee. That's what you do with all negative thoughts. You resist them 
and you persist in resisting and they will go because you'll be changed from glory to glory. Like the word is a mirror. If you have any fears in any area, you find out what the word says and find out really who you are because that's what the word says you are. So you say, I am peaceful. My sleep is sweet. It says in Proverbs, you start to look at scriptures. What does the Bible say about this fear? And you speak that and meditate on it. And that's what he did. And that's what gave him the victory. And I wanted to give you guys this example of how to do it. So uh, stay persistent and you'll have the victory. Talk to you next time. Make sure you hit the like button. It helps to grow the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure you don't miss a video by hitting the bell button, which is right next to the subscribe button. You have to hit all notifications. We'll talk to you next time.